I got Shannon right here. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Excited. Anxious, excited. Anxious, but it's gonna be a long six months, but it'll be definitely be worth it. <laughs> uh, day one is a day that's gonna just rock their world. It is the core and the foundation of everything that the Academy is about. Our job at day one is to basically build them down as individuals and build them up as a team and as a class. So why are you staring at me? Why are you staring at me? I'm sure there's plenty of others from Anaheim that'll do better than you. I want them to remember that it's the first day of the rest of their lives and career. I want them to remember uh, what it was like uh, to become part of a family and to become part of a team. Uh, I want them to remember um, how much their lives are going to change um, over the next six months and for the rest of their for the rest of their careers. No, 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 you don't apologize. Excuse you're just being inconsiderate. That's all you're being right now. What you say? Say? No, I'm I'm You saw him laying on the ground and you kept going. Is that what you're gonna do to your partners in Oxnard? No, sir, that's not Down! Everything we deal with is stressful. We're like chameleons. We have to rotate from being marriage counselors to animal control yes, to traffic control to handling emergency situations and life-threatening situations and critical situations where the life uh, of, of someone in your community and in the outside world is being threatened and you're expected to know what to do, when to do it, how to do it, and to do it fast. And if they cannot respond and react to stress, um, then being a, a proactive law enforcement officer is going to be extremely challenging for them. And I, you need to wake up, go home, eat some Cheerios or some Pops and come back. Going into the academy, I felt like I knew a decent amount, but once I actually got in the academy, I realized that there was a lot of information that I was not aware of until we actually learned it at the range. Definitely feel like our instructors have taught us a this? lot of really important skills uh, that we could apply into our jobs once we're out in the street. I really do enjoy it. It's one of my most favorite things that we've done at the academy and I hope to continue shooting frequently uh, after the academy as well. Oh, the instructors are fantastic. Uh, always critiquing, always watching. Safety is a big part of the firearms training. Being safe, being efficient, being accurate, and putting all those together so that we can be as proficient as possible.
uh, been fun working with my partners and being able to apply some of the tactics that we've learned in RTL Lieutenant Osmus' classes and being able to trust our partners to move through the buildings appropriately and make decisions split seconds. We're starting to apply a lot of these principles that we've learned here at the Academy starting from week one and apply them here in uh, real time training. EVOC has been a phenomenal experience. There's been a plethora of experienced cadre. Uh, these instructors have been professional, they've been knowledgeable, and they've been teaching us defensive driving that will help us out in the field. Uh, we've been learning, and most importantly, we've been bonding uh, closer as a family of recruits who have been getting to know each other even better throughout this experience. This week has been very informative. We've learned a lot of stuff and really get the fundamentals down on proper code three driving, uh, whether it be coming into turns, hitting the apexes, uh, ensuring we're braking properly, making sure we're hitting the appropriate speeds, clearing traffic, clearing intersections. Uh, it's been very informative, very uh, applicable to what we will be doing in the future, and it's been a, a very good learning experience. Steering has probably been one of the biggest areas where recruits have struggled and kind of had to break the shell of what they knew and really learn, relearn what, what uh, they thought driving was. The six pillars of character are the foundation for what we instill with these recruits from the moment that they arrive on day one at the academy until their graduation day. We constantly remind them of the importance of each of those pillars and how they mesh with each other in hopes that they will take those pillars as a foundation for when they go out and they serve their communities. Trust is the firm belief in the reliability, truth, and ability in someone or something. Building bonds within our community and within our department is essential in order to be effective police officers because those people will look at us and see police officers that they trust embody the strength and skills to keep them safe. Respect is giving due regard to the dignity of human life, regardless of one's culture, beliefs, traditions, or the personal differences. As law enforcement officers, we must not only show respect to all, but earn the respect of our community, seeking to protect and serve in good faith. Responsibility is the acknowledgement and performance of our duties. As officers, it is our job to protect and serve those in our communities. We must maintain professionalism and ensure we treat others how we'd like to be treated. Our badge represents the courage and discipline we must provide on every call. We must strive to strengthen our weaknesses and learn from our mistakes. Equality and unbiased decisions is what defines justice and fairness. The public expects and deserves impartial, open-minded, and unbiased enforcement of the law. It is a law enforcement officer's job to maintain public trust. Caring is an indispensable attribute 
law enforcement officers must have in order to build rapport with community members and show genuine compassion. We can reflect an attitude of caring by going out of our way to help all people. It is necessary that we care for the safety and well-being of all people and expect nothing in return. Civic virtue and citizenship entails an officer dedicating their service to the public to improve the quality of life and provide a sense of safety and security to the community members. This is a reflection of an officer's selfless dedication to be of service. When the recruits recite the Law Enforcement Code of Ethics, we're hoping that not only are they actually saying those words out loud, but it has some meaning that's resonating within them so that when they go out and they serve their communities, that they instill those same values and qualities not only in their professional life, but in their personal lives as well. As a law enforcement officer, my fundamental duty is to serve, to safeguard lives and property, to protect the innocent against deception, the weak against oppression or intimidation, and the peaceful against violence or disorder, and to respect the constitutional rights of all, to liberty, equality, and justice. I will keep my private life unsullied as an example to all. Maintain courageous calm in the face of danger, scorn, or ridicule. Develop self-restraint and be constantly mindful of the welfare of others. Honest in thought and deed in both my personal and official life, I will be exemplary in obeying the laws of the land and the regulations of my department. Whatever I see or hear of a confidential nature or that is confided to me in my official capacity will be kept ever secret unless revelation is necessary in the performance of my duty. I will never act officiously or permit personal feelings, prejudices, animosities, or friendships to influence my decisions. With no compromise or crime, and with relentless prosecution of criminals, I will enforce the law courteously and appropriately, without fear or favor, malice or ill will, never employing uncensored force or violence, and never accepting gratuities. I recognize the badge as my office, as a symbol of public faith, and I accept it as a public trust to be held, so long as I am true to the ethics of the police service. I will constantly strive to achieve these objectives and ideals, dedicating myself before God to my chosen profession, law enforcement. Golden West. RBC. RBC. 166. 21. 2.